All right, so I called it the Black Ops 6 campaign until drop. It's great to be The campaign is definitely like playing through a summer blockbuster that is accessible to anybody coming in. Okay. Check out this campaign. Black Ops 6 follows the events of both Cold War and then the 19... 80s part of Black Ops 2. Yep. The story takes place in 1991. Frank Woods had been on a mission in Panama that had gone south because there was apparently a mole within the CIA that betrayed Duh. them. Jason Hudson got killed. Alex Mason was killed. Yep. Frank Woods' hand unintentionally. So what we're dealing with is some of the aftermath of those events. Our major returning characters Duh. are Frank Woods. He's of course. a man of action, but he's not able to actually get out in the field anymore. We That's also the guy. Russell Adler. No one quite understands his motivations, so he's difficult to trust. He's a weirdo. Characters we have. Troy Marshall brings leadership. He's new. Savati Dumas. She's the master of disguise. Oh, she's cute. Vince Newman is a tech genius. Their arcs are very like, I don't know who to trust. I don't necessarily trust anybody in this room, but we know that we have like a similar goal. Yeah, okay. When we were starting to think of a campaign, we first start with our era. So we knew we wanted to touch on the Gulf War. We'll hit Kuwait, Iraq, Washington, D.C., Soviet Union. And then from there, we fill in the gaps with, you know, what are just cool locations that we want to do that are fun, provide big experiences, big moments, and really fit the characters in the story. Call okay. of Duty has many landmarks, either existing or fictional one that is heavily related with real life, real war, real events. The sheer variety in the game is pretty spectacular in that there's a lot of space to explore. The player can do it in any order they want. We're allowing different strategies. I knew in these it. Spaces. I was right. Okay. That your buddy played it differently, and they got a whole different result, or that something happened to them that didn't happen to you. So there's a lot wow. of replayability. Okay. The safe house. Is okay. I like that. A place to go in between missions. It gives the player a chance to explore. It's where you can really see these characters and feel who they are and what they're going through. There is also upgrade stations, so the player can upgrade themselves with improved equipment, improved abilities. The safe house will grow as the player progresses through the game. The set dress will change, the visuals will change, and you'll notice different things that weren't there before. Wait, so the what? Oh no, that's the new, the hold up. Name William Calderon, and he goes by Case. Throughout the campaign, you'll be playing as Case, but there are other opportunities and other missions where you will play as other members of the team. And uh, under the radar, you're playing as Sev, and she gets her own uniform and is disguised as a person who's working the base. We're hammering home to the player, this is a different character you're playing as. And so prototyping a mechanic around her, having tightened keen eye senses, integrating that into the flow of the mission worked really well. I think my favorite part is in high rollers. You're going to go in the pretend you are one of the customers, and break into the underground vault and get that cash out. My favorite mission is Emergence. It's a classic Black Ops mind twisting, don't really know what's going on sort of. Oh, it's one of those it. weird and missions. I think players are really, really going to enjoy it. Yeah, we put a lot of love into this game. A lot of people have worked hard on it and we're super excited with how it turned out. I can't wait for people to play it this fall. Okay. Okay. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 comes out October 25th. Now, all right, here's what I want to talk about. First of all, whenever it comes to, like, the uh, multiplayer zombies campaign, right, I feel like Black Ops does a really good job. Obviously, for zombies, they, they do, like, a really, like, a perfect job, for, like, with zombies. Because, um, like, it, it's their thing. Like, whenever Modern Warfare try to do, like, the thing with their zombies, it's okay, but, like, it is not Black Ops. Like, it doesn't have that Black Ops flavor to it. So this is why, like, it kind of tastes a little bland. But whenever you play uh, Black Ops Zombies, it hits the right spot. It, it's great. Amazing. I'm not worried about the uh, the zombies or the multiplayer. I played the uh, the beta. The multiplayer was really fun to me. And it was the beta. So it was like it wasn't even like fully complete. So like to have like to have like the you know the multiplayer like on a back burner and to fall in the multiplayer. Like for me, like here's the thing, right? Whenever I play like a new Call of Duty game, I instantly go for the campaign. I wouldn't say the campaign, I say campaign. I wouldn't say that the campaign is like a make or break for me. But at the end of the day, I think that the um, that the campaign, whenever it comes to Black Ops, hasn't really attracted me. And I'm being completely honest with you. For uh, Modern Warfare's campaign, it hits crazy. It hits different. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just like really used to the story or whatever. 
But like, bro, I absolutely love, bro, Modern Warfare's campaign. You have like, you know, Makarov. You got, um, you got the um, the uh, uh, one for one with the Captain Price, Gas, Soap, etc. Ghost. Um, and so you know, when you have those iconic characters, and you have like these iconic villains on like the Modern Warfare side. Then like the like the story mode becomes way more like fun and addicting and like you know you're ready for like any mission whether it's like the stealth missions or whatever um it's really fun now whenever it comes to call of duty black ops right the campaign like i said before i never really got to it like that i never really connected to it like that i was always a multiplayer slash zombie player whenever it came to black ops this campaign this campaign looks first of all it, it looks fun i would say that it looks it, it looks more free the whole thing with the safe house i didn't even, listen the thing with the safe house thing i didn't even know that was like the type of thing to where you could just go to the safe house and like you can upgrade the weapons and then you can go like go to like a place where you can start like the next mission or whatever that's new call of duty has never had that before um as so i think I, I i don't i don't know about like i didn't play like the last uh call of duty uh black ops or whatever but like the last time i checked call of duty has never had a safe house in the campaign they, they never had that so to be honest with you, that is something that that's new. I like that a lot. The fact that you can go into like this little mansion or whatever, or, or a cabin or this until dawn cabin, and like you know, upgrades your weapons and like you know switch things out. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that's fire. I like that a lot. Um, another thing, like I said before, I think yesterday I said um, in a Call of Duty Black Ops Six uh, replacer like video, or whatever I said that this Call of Duty gives off like more of like a free way of doing things. So like you, you know. It's more free, kind of like how Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 tried to do like, tried, they tried to do like the whole open mission thing. I feel like for this open mission thing to, to the point to where you can like uh, either go like a stealth way, you can either like go in loud or you can, you know, try to like manipulate your way through by like, you know, lying to like a couple of like the waiters or whatever and like, you know, stealing from them or like pickpocketing them or like going in the back and drugging people. It's kind of like, um, it's, it's kind of like a hitman in a way. So. To be honest with you, bro, I do like that approach because everybody has their own approach whenever it comes to things. Not everybody is a, you know, loud, you know, just just impatient person. But also not everybody is a, you know, is a person that can, you know, wait for things to happen or is a person or, or is a stealth person. I know a lot of people that don't like stealth missions, which is OK. You know, it is what it is. But um, for, for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, I like that there's different. You can actually like go any way you want to. You can go in loud. You can you can be stealthy. You can be quiet. You can you can wait a long time. You can drug people or whatever. Well, I, don't, I don't know if you can drug people, but I would assume that you can like uh, go in the back when all the chefs are not in the kitchen and like put something in, in like the food or whatever. And then like the person is gonna like you know eat the food or like the person that you're looking for is gonna eat the food. They get food poisoning and then you finish them off or something. Uh, but I mean, listen, I don't know. I never played the campaign for Black Ops Six before, you know, because the game's not out, but. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this? Um, this camp, like, what's your hearing so far? Um, looking at like some of the uh, some of the things they were saying. Um, a lot of these maps and stuff like that, not maps, but a lot of these like uh, campaigns stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I said before, I kind of got like a conspiracy type of uh, vibe from like Call of Duty Black Ops Six campaign. Um, I was, I am. I'm not expecting it, but, like, I really want something really bad to happen in a Black Ops 6 story. Like, I was, bro, bro, I want, like, the White House to blow up or something. I, I'm talking about in the game, okay? In the game. And Call of Duty Black Ops 6, I'm not talking about real life or nothing. No, I'm not a menace, okay? Like, I wish, like, in the game, bro, something crazy can happen, bro. I want something diabolical can happen. Like, And, and obviously, like, we're in a different time, so I don't think they're going to, like, you know, push it that far. But um, I would love for, like, you know... If something crazy in this game can happen, a lot of people were saying like the whole like 9/11 towers and stuff like that. A lot of people were like were making speculations of like you know 9/11 been in this game or whatever. And um, this game takes place in the in the 90s, so I don't think any of that you know is gonna happen. But um, but yeah, bro, I would love for something crazy to happen in this game because you know like bro, I feel like Call of Duty campaigns with like a with like a big moment always hit. It always hit different. You know, uh, even if you want to go back to like you know. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, they had like um, they had like a like a plot twist uh like moment. So for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, you know, Soap died. Like that was like a big moment. You know, you we didn't really. I mean, if I'm being honest with you, out of everybody in the, in the, in the 141, 
you know, Soap is most likely to want to die. I don't think uh, Captain Price is... Like, they even, like, show Captain Price coughing or whatever and then passing out in a trailer of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I was like, bro, that's Captain Price. He's not dead. He's not dead. Everybody was, oh, my God, is Captain Price going to die? No, he's not. Um, Ghost, I mean, they could get rid of Ghost, but Ghost is too... He's too loved. Nah. Gas. Gas is... He's too out the way. It, it, like, does that make sense? Gas, I don't think he would die. He's too out the way. He's not really... Like, if we lose Gas, that's not really going to hurt us like that. But soap, I mean, bro, soap is up at everybody. We've been, bro, we've been playing as soap for like what ten years in Call of Duty. So for him to like, you know, to like, that, well, for Makarov to kill soap uh, again, I think, um, yeah, that's, that's a little, that's a little messed up. Um, oh, the whole thing with Shepard, you know, Captain Price killing Shepard, um, that was like a, that was like a kind of like a big thing in like Call of Duty, whatever. So hopefully there's like a really big thing like you know listen i'm waiting for like an explosion or bro i want somebody to die i want adler to like you know portray somebody like i want something to spice up the story a little bit so comment down below man what do you guys think about call of duty black ops 6 campaign uh what are you guys expecting from it do you guys are you actually are you guys actually gonna play the campaign uh other than that yeah i'm excited for i'm excited for the multiplayer can't lie to you, bro. I love the beta. I'm gonna be honest. I love the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 beta. It was my, it, listen, it was one of my favorite betas of all time. Let's just say that. See so you guys. I mix them out and.